Hello everyone and welcome back to Late Back Gaming. Today we're taking a look at Icy Journey to the White Wasteland. Um, I am told that the game is a narrative-driven post-apocalyptic survival RPG set in the Ice Age. So uh, let's jump in here and see what this game is all about. Alright, so we got some points here that we can invest into stuff like body, um, which is going to be like HP. We got mind, which kind of looks like an ice cream scoop and not a mind, but alright, um, the smart and cleverness, and then we got word. Uh, alright. <coughs> Let's do five, three, two. Four, three, three. Let's let's do that. And we have forty experience points. So uh, melee. So, uh, can only upgrade it up to nine. Hold on, reset. All right. One. Oh, they cost more every time. Got it. Bow. Let's upgrade that. Upgrade everything at least once here, if we can. Medicine, I'll upgrade that twice. Speechcraft, I'll upgrade it once. Intimidation, upgrade that. Uh, rest here, we want to put into Explore. On. Scavenge. Melee. Bow. Firearms. Oh, so we upgrade through here. Upgrade stealth. Alright, that looks good. Looks good. It has been two years since you lost your memory in a freak snow slide incident. Your savers that day are now your nomad family. Today's is a day just like any other. You are out hunting in the forest with your companion and good friend Jerome. Alright. Alright. Hunting with Jerome. You wake up in the woods, surrounded by snow and old massive trees. A cold wind is blowing on your face. Your arms and legs are chilled to the bone. You feel a gentle touch on your shoulder. It's Jerome waking you up. Wake up. The bait we set has lured a beast. He smiles at you and whispers, Get up, let's go catch it. You feel confused and the white glowing snow disorients you, but you manage to get on your feet. The old man looks at you with a friendly smile, waiting for your brain to start working. Give me a second. Hurry up, we don't have all day. Look at that majestic deer. Today might be our lucky day. You're damn right. The deer gets closer, lured by the bait you set. It's a large beast and can provide food for several days. Do I shoot the deer, or do I let Jerome? Hmm. I'll let Jerome shoot it. Jerome slowly raises his bow and prepares an arrow. As you wish, lazy man. Jerome stays his name for a few seconds and shoots an arrow that pierces through the beast's neck. The deer emits a strangely cry and falls to the ground. And Jerome turns to you with a large smile on his face. Not a bad shot, was it? He puts away his bow and starts walking towards the dying deer. You get close to the deer. The beast is lying dead in the snow and is large enough to provide food for your family for several days. Let's head back. He looks up at the sun. It's not even noon yet. Hector will find some other chores for us to do. You can be sure of that. You tie the deer to a strong pole and head back to camp. Jerome talks the whole way back, clearly excited by the successful hunt. Alright. So, it looks like we can move towards this pinpoint here, maybe? Yeah! Alright. You're able to see the tents of your camp from a distance. You follow Jerome. Then drop the deer on the ground. Well, we are going to eat deer for dinner. Jerome smiles and puts his hand on your shoulder. Well, 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 suddenly Goran appears behind you. You brought back a week's worth of food. We're on, where are the others? You see Hector coming out of his scent. He doesn't seem to be too well. They're hunting south of here. You know, Irma, you can't simply stand doing things. Anything else we can do? Well, this deer isn't going to chop itself in pieces. Let's start and maybe we'll have time for another run. Let me do that. I'm stuck here anyway. My, my my ankle still hurts, so my ability to walk around is limited. Go for another run. Try to get as much food as possible. There's a long road ahead, and I don't want to lose time every day hunting. Let's stock up on some food now while we can. 
Drone looks at the sun. We have time, so I guess we should go in for another run. I'm ready. I'm I'm ready. Just don't fall asleep this time. I'm the old one. I am the only one to randomly go to sleep. Come on, let's go. You take the lead this time. All right, going back hunting. Good enough with me. Tutorial hunt. In order to start hunting, enter into a forest area and press the hunt button in the right corner. You're you're in a relatively open area of the forest where it's easy to walk around. Cool. All right. In the forest area. Um. Hold on. What's going on here? What hunt button am I looking for here? A little confused. Party. Where's these buttons here? Player. Diary. What button am I hitting here? Alright, it should activate. I mean, that's kind of a forest, is it not? Why am I not getting a hunt button when I'm in a forest? Alright. Also, movable map. WTF. Um. Is this not the hunt button? Yeah. How do you realize it when you're traveling in a forest or standing in the gathering area? I'm. Is this not a forest to you or something? Because I'm clearly hitting that button, am I not? Alright. Fine, I'll go to town here or someone. I'm very confused at the moment why the hell I cannot hunt or anything. Because I'm um, pretty sure this is clearly forest. No, I can't move at all. What the hell? Um, yeah. Alright. I'd like to hunt, please. Um, yeah. Not too sure what's going on with the game. Anything I can do here? Um, go into the woods and hide until the evening. Yeah, I would if I could. Um, don't know what to do. Literally, when I go into either of these wooded places, um, I'm just saying, literally I should have like a pop-up, or this should turn color or something, but it doesn't want to seem to do that. Instead, it kind of wants to click under that button. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. And click that one. It'll allow me to zoom in and out of the map, but I'm. It's really not letting me zoom in and out of the map. Um. Yeah. Um, I'd like to hunt, but I can't do anything by the looks of it. Um, anyways, guys, uh, my review of Icy, it seems broken. Um, clicking underneath the buttons, no. 
I can see the scrolling and moving thing, but if you're not gonna let me hit buttons that I can need to hit and they're not gonna light up when they can be used or anything like that, um, we got kind of a problem. So guys, uh, I'll still leave a link in the description to the game, as I always do, just in case you guys want to check it out, uh, wait for an update, whatever, see if the game does get better. Um, I do like the idea of the game, but when buttons don't work, the game doesn't work as intended. Um, yeah, doesn't really help all that much. Uh -huh. But until next time, guys, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and peace out.